Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I will be budgeting out this week's paycheck, which is $672.75. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alex. I'm a single mom to one beautiful daughter named Savannah. She is 11 years old and I'm 31 years old and we live in the state of Wisconsin. I am currently saving up for a house and I'm an independent contractor. I shop and deliver groceries to customers, so if you're a gig worker, you could probably relate to my budget. Since my paychecks are very inconsistent, that is why I love using the cash envelope system because it helps me budget out each week's paycheck and then it helps me stay on track. And also this method has helped me save the most amount of money so far. So let's jump right into it. I made $672 and 75 cents. Again, I'm a single mom. I am considered low income. So um, with videos like this, I hope to inspire other people to uh, try to work with their budget. You know, I work with what I got, you know, and I really try to save up as much money as I can. So hopefully this video helps you or inspires you. So yeah, let's get started. I made $672.75. I am going to put 15% of that into my savings, which is $100.91. That is 15% of my paycheck. I do this every single week. That leaves me with $571.84. And then I have to deduct my bills, which is $288. I get paid weekly, so I figure out what my bills are weekly, which totals to 288. And so if you are new, everything is listed to the left right here. These are all my bills. So I am left with $283.84 that I can technically spend this week. So since I do the cash envelope system, these are all my categories that I have in my binders. And then everything to the left of that is how much money I have in each section, just so I can allocate my money the best way that I can. So let's get started. I am going to highlight a few categories that I want to stuff this week that I typically don't. I want to make sure I add money into beauty and household because I have not added anything in there in a very long time. And this paycheck is, is decent. So I think I can add money into there. But I am going to get my usuals out of the way. I am going to be traveling um, out of town to go visit family this week. So I think I might have to add in more than you know, 30 to $40. So I think I'm going to add $50 into gas this week. So I have 283 to work with, subtract 50. I am left with $233. I am going to add $10 into vehicles. I currently have $231. I like to add a little something in there every single week. I am at $223. I am going to add in $10 into time off and bad work week. I currently have $600 in that envelope. This envelope is important since I am an independent contractor. I do not receive any vacation time or sick time. So basically if I need to take any time off, I have to prepare for it. So this category is super important. And then also if, um, you know, my paycheck is not enough to cover my bills, then I can pull from this envelope too. Doesn't happen often, but I really like that extra cushion. So yeah, I'm going to add $10 into that envelope. So I am at $213 now. I am also going to add in $10 into electronics. I currently have $520 in there. 
this envelope is for currently for my daughter actually because I'm saving up for a computer um, if hers ever breaks just because of the fact that her computer is very old so yeah her computer will probably be the first one that I'll have to replace. So I have $203 left over for this week. I am going to add in $20 into vacation. I try to do this every single week. So at the end of the year, I have around $1,000 that I've saved for vacation. So subtract 20 and vacation has $640 in there. All right, I'm going to give myself $20 for spending money. I currently have 42. I am going to add in um oopsies. I'm going to add in $10 into family fun. So I'm at $153 right now. Family Fund currently has $23. I am saving up for a haunted house pass for myself and for my daughter. Eating out, I will be adding in $25. And eating out has $4 left over. And now I currently have only $128 to work with. I'm going to give my daughter $10 for her entertainment money. She has $37. And that's just money that she can spend, um, you know, with going out with friends and stuff. So I have $118 left. Do, do, do. I'm going to give my daughter $10 in chore money. I do this every single week. I'm at $108 left. So I am going to add in 20 into household and 20 into beauty. Um, I've been really wanting to go to Dollar Tree lately. So I've been seeing so many TikToks, you guys, about um, Dollar Tree hauls and stuff. And I just really want to go and find some awesome stuff. So I think that's probably, yeah, that whole $40 will probably be spent at Dollar Tree, most likely. So I have $68 to work with. Mm -hmm. So... I think a really good idea is to probably add that into Christmas. I only have $297 in there right now, which is kind of scary because they feel like Christmas is around the corner and I feel like that amount will probably cover gifts for everyone besides my daughter. So I probably need to save up, I would say, probably $300 for my daughter. I'm not quite sure what she wants for Christmas yet, um, but I feel like $300 would probably be a good amount for her. So, I am going to, I'm gonna do $33 in Christmas just so it can be an even number. So I have $35 left over. I do need to add money into birthday because my dad's birthday is in October. So I think I am going to add 25 into there. I am left with $10. I think I'm going to add that remaining amount of money into my daughter's envelope. And that should be everything. I'm just going to quickly do the math again just to make sure. All right, 
I got 283. So looks good to me. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And thank you for all the likes and all the comments. Definitely helps out my channel grow. So I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.